Station A. Tony, after an opening ceremony like that, you're probably wondering what we did for an encore. Come on, let me show you. The name of the game at this jamboree was action. There was a lot of it, and you could have all you wanted. Most of us wanted all of it.
When it was time to relax, we called it our friendly local trading post. A trading post is a combination shopping center, supermarket, and traffic circle. It's also a good place to eat between meals. You can buy almost anything at a trading post. You were always running into somebody who looked familiar, and it was a nice place to make new friends. It may sound funny, but one of the main activities at the trading post was trading. You could trade anything, with anybody, anywhere. Best of all, nobody ever got the best of you. Because every trade you made ended like this. One day, some skydivers from the U.S. Army dropped in for a visit. For a moment, I was worried that they wouldn't be with us very long. I felt a lot better when those chutes opened. Jamboree was located on the shores of Lake Pend Oreille, 65 miles long, 4 miles wide, up to 2,500 feet deep, and willing to entertain visitors. So, we visited. One, two, three. There are only two places you're apt to meet an old timer like this one. In the history books and in the Jamboree conservation area. There were other unusual things in the conservation area. Weather science, for instance. You've heard of training falcons? In the conservation area, you could see falcons training.
There was plenty to eat at the Jamboree, but due to circumstances beyond our control, we had to cook it ourselves. You see, there was a rather serious shortage of mothers here. We had every modern convenience at the Jamboree. This late model automatic washing machine, for instance, as well as a few earlier model manually operated machines. Powerful electric ringers in every campsite. And of course, the very latest in automatic dryers. A guy could keep himself pretty clean here too. Of course, the water was a little too cold, but then the sun was a little too hot. So it sort of balanced out. Some people laughed at us and said we only kept so clean because so many of the Jamboree visitors were girls. What's that got to do with it? Telephone booths at a Jamboree? Sure, and they got plenty of use too. Nothing like calling home every now and then. Not that we were homesick or anything. It's just that parents like to feel needed. Let's face it, they were needed. Dear Dad, I seem to be running a little short of funds. And I was wondering if you could send me... Keep those cards and letters coming, folks. On Sunday morning, we went to the church service of our choice. For some of us, our choice was to go as the guest of a new friend. Like they say, when you find out more about the other fellow, you find out more about yourself. At the Jamboree, we discovered something. We discovered the little ways that were all different and the big ways that were all alike. while we were at the Jamboree. Man's first landing on the moon. For a while, the whole Jamboree seemed to come to a stop while we listened. Guidance looking good. Velocity 26,000 feet per second. Apollo 11, this is Houston at one minute. Trajectory and guidance look good, and the stage is good, over. Coming up on 27,000 feet per second. Then we got a personal message from the two former scouts who were the first men on the moon. I'd like to say uh, hello to all uh, my fellow scouts and scatters at uh, Farragut State Park in Idaho. They have a national jamboree there this week, and Apollo 11 like to send them best wishes. It was sort of nice to know a couple of our boys had made it. Step right this way, folks. It's a circus, it's a carnival, it's a world's fair. It's the scouting show of shows. It's the Skillorama. Have fun at the Skillorama. See things, do things. Come to the Skillorama.
you thought the jamboree was only fun and games listen to these voices from our jamboree forum the day we got together with our friends to talk about the world we're all living in they say i'm not even gonna vote well as soon as you don't vote as soon as you throw away this right you throw away your right to criticize what happens once someone gets elected the word now is love and stuff like that well what if it was hate i mean things aren't that bad what if the hippies, instead of against war, were for war? I mean, just because someone has a different color skin, why should everyone hate the person and try to do things against him? And then you find out, you know, the streams are polluted, and you wonder, you know, how, you know, what's going to happen in another 50 years? Are they all going to be gone like that or what? You know, it makes you kind of wonder. People, they have riots. That is just, that's just not the way that people should act. People are supposed to be humane and not insane. In our natural resources, and somehow it seems like through our scouting program and experiences, we can help in these areas by, you know, making the communities more aware of this problem and that, you know, that we need to take care of our natural resources because they're, you know, they won't be here very long if we keep treating them the way we do. We're really only human, but we get out there and we do our stuff, you know, that, I think scouting's my thing. It's, uh... <laughs> We had three big shows in our Jamboree Arena, and each show had the same first act, getting there. Getting there meant moving 35,000 guys from their campsites to the arena without anybody getting in anyone else's way. Didn't think we'd make it, did you? Well, here we are, ready for the big show.
special visitor at the Jamboree, Lady Baden-Powell, the wife of Lord Baden-Powell, who founded the Boy Scouts. On the last night, we all lit candles there in that big, dark arena, and we began to remember our jamboree. The faces, the thousands of faces, the fun we had making friends with these faces, and seeing the special things, the special look of things, the special look of a campfire and the faces around it in the night, the special look of the flag and the faces around it in the morning and the special thoughts we thought and shared about this jamboree and the world back home. There's just one race, the human race. And I think if more people thought this way, and I think more people in our generation think this way, then people should always be striving, thinking of the day when there is no war. Someday I might never ever come back here, but I'll always remember this jamboree as being perfect. <laughs>